12 hours for sports cars, an oval for Indy cars, and a win streak in Supercross. These are your quick hits. What's up, everybody? I'm Alan Kavana for Speed Sport. These are your quick hits powered by Lucas Oil. We've got every kind of racing you'd want this weekend, and we're here to preview it all. Let's start on two wheels in the world of Supercross. The series is coming off a brutal race in Detroit that saw some of the top riders go out with injuries or issues. In the end, it was Eli Tomac getting his third straight win and building a 42-point lead in the standings. He's bringing that momentum to Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis this weekend for race 11 of the 17 race series. Let's go to Florida for 12 hours of racing. Yes, the historic 12 hours of Sebring is set to go green this weekend with 53 entries set to race. That's 16 more than last year. The once around the clock race is the second round of the IMSA season. JDC Miller Motorsports is the defending race winner. To NASCAR now, where the series heads for a whole new world at a classic track. Atlanta Motor Speedway is a long staple of the schedule, but this weekend, it's the debut of a new, more banked, more narrow surface that will likely change everything we know about the track. The Cup Series will run the same rules package that it runs at Daytona and Talladega Super Speedway. Cup race on Sunday, truck and Xfinity on Saturday. Finally, expect some high speeds as the IndyCar Series goes to an oval for the first time this year. It's the second race of the season for IndyCar as the drivers return to Texas Motor Speedway for the first time since last March. Back then, it was a doubleheader with Scott Dixon and Pato Award getting the wins. Good racing no matter the series. For Speed Sport, I'm Alan Kavana. These were your quick hits powered by Lucas Oil. Lucas Oil, keep that engine alive. Quick Hits is now available as a podcast, part of the Speed Sport Podcasting Network. To subscribe, just go to speedsport.com slash podcasts or your favorite podcasting platform.